What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are back home after an awesome week at Predatory Fins 2.0 in New York City. Now, as you all saw in one of my last videos, we're actually destroying my 8,000 gallon tank because it is leaking. I'm not doing the destruction. The team that actually built the tank is doing the destruction. And I actually got a text today saying that one of the windows cracked while they were trying to destroy it. So I'm here right now. It's one o'clock in the morning. We're about to go inside and give you all my live reaction and see how bad this problem is because this could set us back months. Oh, baby, it smells disgusting in here. All that water that's been molding, we got freaking crickets going off. All right, dude. Oh, I wonder what's going on. So I haven't seen any of this, guys. I'm literally going to show you all my live reaction to how the tank looks after being demolished. Not going to look. Not going to look. Oh, my gosh. Guys, look at this. This is the first day of demolition, and my tank is destroyed. Like, all this is gonna have to come off. The windows are coming out, all the wood's coming off. Dude, it's like all rotted out too. Look at the wood, bro. What the heck happened, dude? That's all the water, I guess, that must have been leaking. Oh, it's wet. So I guess the first process to us ripping the entire front off was them taking all the stone off, which, guys, let me tell you all, when we first put the stone on here, it took one guy a full week of 12-hour work days to cut each individual stone right here and put this on. So all that, that's all ruined. I know you all been commenting down below and saying, oh, Chase, why don't you hire this dude or that dude? Guys, this is like thousands of dollars worth of stone and stone work that is literally just, it's just trash. That's all trash. The dumpster's gonna come pick this up. Dude, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Wait, you guys see that? I was thinking like a little bit like a, like a tiny crack, bro. Oh my gosh, what? Wait, wait, get, get for reference, for reference. Dude, look at this <laughs> giant crack. Oh my gosh. These panels are a little over a thousand dollars each. These are three fourth inch glass, very strong. They were basically ordered for this aquarium. These panels took three months to come in. What, what are we gonna do? So I know a lot of you guys were wondering why the tank was leaking and here's pretty much why. So instead of taking the windows out when they first built this structure, they actually left it in this, in this wooden structure right here. And well, if you all know with a lot of pressure, wood actually flexes where concrete doesn't really flex. So basically this window was just pushing on the outside here. Dude, how are they gonna get these windows out without cracking? Like what are we gonna do? I mean, one problem after another guys and it just, maybe I'm just the most unlucky guy in the entire world. But this is like $1,400 worth of glass just down the drain. <laughs> that is so bad. Oh my gosh, it gets even worse. Look at our floor right here. Look at all the floor. So I guess this is where the stone was probably sitting up here. So I guess what we're gonna have to do is after we demolish this tank, I guess we're gonna have to put brand new stone on here. All this brand new tile is gonna have to come up like I mean, I know you guys keep saying, oh, well, why don't you hire this guy? Why don't you hire that guy? Why don't you have them come fix it? Like, guys, we can't put more money in this project because like, this was the project. This was the project right here. And like, imagine buying a house, right? You buy the house, you pay like everything for the house and then the house doesn't work out. You can't just go and tear the house down and rebuild the entire house. Like, it just doesn't work like that. So now we're trying to do the best we can with what we have, but like, I mean, all this wood is completely rotted. It smells disgusting in here. And like, another thing that sucks that I meant to mention in the last video, like I have a ton of animals at my house. So look at all this other space right here. Like I can't keep animals in here guys if there's all this dust and mold in here. Like I'm gonna have to take all these fish out. Look, we got big moose right here who's doing amazing. Let's get moose out of there. Look at moose, dude. that's such a beast of a fish. So all these fish, I had planned on all these fish already being in this tank because the tank was supposed to be done by Thanksgiving. I mean, these guys, they're gonna all have to come out of this room because the smell in here is so bad. I don't want them to get infected. Like, are they okay in here, bro? I don't even know. Should we move out tonight? Honestly, this is gonna sound crazy, but I've really been contemplating if I even wanna keep going with fish keeping because if this is what fish keeping looks like, I don't think I'm gonna be a part of it anymore because I've had so many issues over the last two years. Honestly, this is so sad. I worked so hard on designing this entire tank, spent tons of money on it. And like after two years, this is what I had to show for it. Like it's honestly really embarrassing for myself. Um, like I said, I haven't done the work for it other than the design work, but like 
Like this is like what all my hard work's come to. I have no fish. All my fish passed away in my last uh, in my last tank that busted that was supposed to be 100% okay too. I mean, I do have fish, but I don't have the fish that I had in my old pond, like you saw in my Instagram videos. I mean, like, this is just so much work and sleepless nights that I spent in here. Uh, money that I saved up forever just to do something like this. And like, I mean, this is all I had to show for it. Like, how am I supposed to find enjoyment and like this, I mean, it just, it sucks so bad, guys. And I feel like, honestly, it's only gonna get worse from here. So I think the rest of the week, they're gonna be in here trying to take these panels out. So I think what happened was, they tried to take this pan on here and either somebody maybe hit it on accident or probably tried to pull it out and like it is cracked and the panel is gone. I mean, this isn't your typical glass. This glass is over a thousand dollars. So the same thing might happen with this one. The same thing might happen with those over there and like, Guys, what do I do? I mean, this takes three months to get these glass panels. Like, I'm trying the best I can, but there's no simple solution for all the problems that we're having other than literally to take the bulldozer in here and just run all this over. What should I do? Well, at least your tank's not leaking right now. All right, that wasn't funny. Everything else here is just destroyed. I mean, the only thing that is actually functioning and working here is my two fish tanks that are small and then my saltwater tank behind me here. I have all the animals still at home, guys, that I want to bring over here. My two-headed turtle, um, my fly river turtle, my flower horn, my perun sharks. I want to bring them all over here and have all their enclosures set up. That's all going to be right here. My couch, my TV, this massive TV we bought, a 55-inch TV to mount up here. But I can't bring any of it over here because I'm afraid of it dying and all the fumes getting to it. I mean, this is literally a construction site. Look at how moldy these tanks are. At this point, bro, I don't even think it's safe for us to be in here to breathe this air. Like, I can already feel it in my throat, dude. Like, my lungs and stuff are like getting all this nasty fumes in it, like the mold and all the silicone and stuff from the tanks. Like I said, things are only gonna get worse from here, but I wanna show you all the good and the bad of building a giant tank like this. Hopefully, we can get it figured out. I've been trying to consult with everybody I know, all the big fish guys, all the guys that have monster tanks. It's really embarrassing because this is all I have to show for for two years of work. No fish, no water in the tank, just leaks, cracks moldy wood and a pile of just granite everywhere like the only way I can describe this is just this just sucks like I don't know if we're ever gonna have fish in this tank at this point based on the way it looks like I mean how are we gonna have fish in this tank dude it's so sad because I I love the side of actually keeping fish and adding them to their tank but like I have all these plans like I've, I've been debating all week okay Chase do I want to do saltwater fish do I want to do freshwater fish I want to do monster sharks, so I want to do giant catfish. But now after seeing this tank, guys, like thinking about adding fish to the pond are the last thing in my mind. Like this thing won't be fish ready for probably six months. I don't know, like. Well guys, there's nothing really else much to say. You know, we're still gonna be working on the expansion up there to be adding more mammals, amphibians, and reptiles to the warehouse. But as far as the fish goes, it's an absolute shit show. Um, I think as we start destroying this tank even more, I won't be here for the destruction, but the guys that will be destroying it. I think it's gonna look even way worse. We're probably gonna have to get new floors, um, new everything, maybe even new walls. I don't know what's gonna happen, guys, but I appreciate y'all's support each week. Your all's comments literally make my day. So right now, if you all could just show me any kind of love, I would really appreciate that. And with that being said, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.